It's a Filipino classic, chicken adobo. So you start with a big old Dutch oven and brown up two pieces of chicken per adult portion. Okay, so if you're entertaining six people, do 12 pieces. If you're entertaining four people or cooking dinner for four, you need eight pieces. You brown that in some olive oil in the bottom of your Dutch oven until it's nice and crispy on both sides. Now it's gonna get spicy and good. Now we're gonna add just a drizzle more oil because I barely got any drippings out of that chicken. The first level of heat is coarse black pepper. Two tablespoons, don't be cheap on the black pepper. It's essential in the dish. So I'm just eyeballing it as I drop it into the pot. Coarse black pepper. We're going to reserve half of the chilies to put on top of the dish. And we're going to add half to the pot. Couple of literally bulbs of crushed garlic. They're gonna get really sweet and mellow in the sauce. Lots of fresh bay. Fresh bay or laurel has a really floral, lovely aroma to it. You can use dried, but I always prefer fresh, especially for this dish because you're using so much of it. Give that a stir and it will clear out your sinuses, by the by. So keep your head back a little bit from the pot. And then a large bunch of scallions or green onions when they're in season. And we put the whites in the pot and reserve the tops or the greens for when the dish is done. Another reason to keep your head back from the pot. Now we're gonna add three quarters of a cup of vinegar. That's about six turns of the pan. That will also clear your sinuses out, so back it up. And then we're gonna put in about the exact same amount of soy, or I'm using tamari aged soy sauce. Okay, and then we're going to sweeten it up with about two tablespoons of light brown sugar, a nice coating over the top. Oh my God, it smells so good. And now we're going to drop the heat way down and let the, the chicken cook to finish through and all of its natural juices will come out into that tangy, spicy sauce. We're gonna leave this covered and simmering for about 35 minutes. Then we're gonna remove our chicken and thicken our sauce up a bit to glaze the chicken, okay? So, lid on. Heat way down. Garlic rice is a really big deal in Filipino cooking, so we're gonna take another whole bulb of garlic, crush it, and throw it into chicken stock. We're gonna cook our rice in chicken stock rather than in water so that it has extra flavor. It's up to a boil, now we're gonna reduce to simmer and I'm going to add coriander seed, another big flavor in Filipino cooking. And when the rice is done, we're gonna fluff it and add toasted sesame seed, which should give it a really nutty flavor as well. Lid on, you know the drill here. Reduce the heat and let that cook up about 15 minutes, turn it off, let it stand five minutes more. For our chicken that's just been gently simmering, we're gonna take it back out and then we're gonna turn the heat up because now we have all the juice from the chicken itself. We're gonna thicken this up so it glazes our cooked chicken. I fished out the five fresh bay leaves from our adobo sauce for our chicken. Meanwhile, I cooked rice. Now I'm gonna finish with a nice fat sprinkle of toasted sesame. Gives it a great extra crunch. And anything that adds texture and flavor, I say go for it. So we've got toasted seed, sesame and coriander, lots of garlic, and pour that sauce down over our chicken. Oh. <laughs> and then we're gonna top the chicken with our jalapenos, our green onions, a little cilantro or parsley. I use cilantro because we used the coriander seed in the rice. Nice!